Hi, third graders, welcome back. Okay, yesterday, remember, we talked about multiplying by six, and we used that strategy where we made two groups of three because we know three and three makes six. So we could put it together, break it apart to make the problem a little easier to solve. Today, we're gonna do some more practice with multiplying by six. So you can think about that strategy and break it into two groups of three, or you can work this way. We've got some array models here. Remember, arrays are where we can see the groups, okay? So in this case, we're looking at groups of six. So one group of six, two groups of six, three groups of six, four groups of six. And what we have to do is we have to think about the missing numbers, what's missing here, okay? And continue the pattern. So we're thinking about counting by sixes. Remember, if it's easier to think of it as two groups of three, let's look at this here. Think about how you could break this in half, that imaginary line. So if we broke these two groups apart and thought of two groups of three, which I know makes six, and two groups of three up here, which also makes six, so then I know that six plus six makes 12, which matches with what's down here at the bottom. Now we have to do that work for three groups of six, okay? So you can think about that as dividing it into groups of three, two groups of three, and figuring out that, or you can use the picture here, the array model to help you, okay? Same thing down here. This time we're looking at the number of legs on a beetle and each beetle has six legs. So we're going to solve these equations down here, okay? So two groups of six, so that would be thinking about these two beetles. Four groups of six, so thinking about these four beetles, okay? And then you're going to write your answers in the blanks, okay? When we get down here, we're thinking about how we could think of this equation, think about the commutative property, where order doesn't matter. I can multiply nine times six, it's going to equal the same as six times nine, and then what would the product be, okay? So there's your task for today. Still practicing and reviewing that, multiplying by six. Ready? Off you go.